Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. I'm so glad that you are here. Um, today's project was um, was therapy, I think. Um, and I'll share more about that at the end of the video. But I love how this turned out. I positively love it. I couldn't have asked for anything better. And so I want to go over the project and the supplies, and then we'll start creating. All right, so <clears throat> here's my beauty. I love her. I love this. I love this. I did a technique um, in the background that you'll see me do, and I'm, gonna, I'm showing you a little bit more of the technique in the video um, than I typically do because I want you to know what I'm doing. So when I put my inks down, I spray alcohol on it and dry at the same time. And it allows the, the spots and the the speckling and all of the things that the alcohol does um, to really show up because it's kind of drying in the same time. So I wanted to make sure you knew that and you knew what I was doing as I was doing it. Um, so supplies are my handmade journal um, and inks, uh, acrylic inks in uh, every color. <clears throat> I just grabbed the rainbow magenta. White's key because it helps everything kind of mix and gives us that contrast. Um, and then when things mix, we get these dark colors that also contrast. Um, so I didn't do like warm and cool colors. I put them all together and let them just do what they were going to do. And it was perfect. So quinacridone, magenta, yellow, oxide, uh, vivid red, orange, um, deep violet, Prussian blue, turquoise, and some uh, vivid lime green. And that lime green, I wasn't sure about it because all these colors are like my favorites, but it's perfect because again, it's that pop of contrast. It's in adding interest. And then um, I also used um, burnt sienna and my, my Mars Violet that I am on, the kick that I'm on right now. I'm just exploring all the things that can be done with this color. And I mixed the Mars Violet and the Burnt Sienna and Gesso for her skin. <laughs> and um, I used my, <clears throat> in the background, I put papers down first, just scraps that were on my table. And then I did some stenciling. I used my newspaper font stencil. I love this one and I forget sometimes. I have so many that I forget, uh, but I love this font. And then the mandala font, which kind of gives me some of these circles in the background. Um, and then, um, of course, the face stencil. Where? where? Really? <laughs> Somewhere. Mm. There she is. Um, this is faces looking over stencil. And then... I used my Stabilo. My Stabilo All is always a key thing in my faces because it gives me this really wonderful shadow shade kind of thing. I did allow the colors underneath to kind of help me, you know, decide where it's going to be darker and lighter. I left her eyes, you know, I love that her eyes are different color. I love all of that. I love her uniqueness. And I did that because of the meaning of the page. Um, so Stabilo All. Um, General's charcoal pencil, and then I did use a black and white soft pastel just because there's a lot of texture on here. I used a, a white Posca pen for her eyes because I want her eye wanted her eyes to be white to really stand out. Black soft pastel for around the edges. Um, I used uh, fluid matte medium to put my papers down and matte gel to put my additional words down and I added a piece of tissue paper here. All of these things have meaning and I can't wait to share that with you. Um, I did use matte black to stencil with and oh I did use um, I put it away already. <laughs> Um, I have my rollers that I typically use. Let me just make sure so you know what I'm talking about. Um, that's This is what I did my letters and my mandala stencil with. Um, or my letters and maybe just my letters. <laughs> um, it's just super fast and easy. My mandala, oh, my mandala stencil, I used the color and then kind of wiped it away to kind of give it a real light vintage -y feel, which is what I wanted. Okay. Gesso for my white. And that's it. Super simple. Um, but wow, she's beautiful. She's just beautiful. Mm, love her. 
Okay, those are the supplies and the project. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you stick around for the conversation at the end. All right, my loves, let's get creating.
All right, loves, that was our project. I hope you enjoyed it. I so did. I was deep in thought and um, really just kind of working things out. And that's what our journals are for, is to just be here in this space and we can kind of let things go or we can process through things or we can, I mean, it's our own personal quiet time. And I mean, it can be anything. And that's what I, I wanted this to be very free, um, free flowing. And um, I had an idea of what I wanted and it turned out perfectly. Um, let's see. So the stencils that I used today will be on sale. And um, I don't have any other announcements. Let's see, by the time you see this, <laughs> uh, yeah, no other announcements as of right now. Um, okay, so let's talk about the page. So um, this week, well, not this week, uh, always, <laughs> every week, I always get some type of negative comment. Um, and I'm sharing this without, with not, not trying to get sympathy. I'm just sharing this because I know that if I feel that some of the things you might feel s things too. Um, so always I have a comment or two or three, it just depends on the week, uh, a negative comment about something. Um, it could be my voice. It could be, I said too many ums. It could be, I mean, some of them, it just, you know, uh, there's just all kinds of things like I'm not you. I shouldn't call myself an artist. Um, just all, all kinds of stuff. And most of the time, I'm kind of like, okay, uh, yeah, okay. But there are other times um, that they impact me more so. And um, one of the comments was, um, "Your you your gray hair makes you look old." And I know it does in some sense. Um, and to be honest, I have struggled with, with going gray and I've shared that before here. And um, it is kind of a sensitive thing for me. Um, not so much anymore. I have grown into my skin of this gray hair and I'm learning to love it and uh, appreciate that every single one of those gray hairs I have earned. Um, and so I'm in a better place for, th for those kinds of comments, but a couple months ago I wasn't. And so when I got that comment this last week, among others, um, I paused for a second because it didn't stop me like it used to. I was just like, okay, you know, did, did a double take in the mirror with my gray hair and I said, yeah, I'm good. Um, but that doesn't always happen. And it depends on the season, depends on what's going on in our own lives, inside of us, in our hearts. It really, really depends. And um, I have a good group of people that surround me that um, encourage me and love me, which is, is wonderful. And we all need that. I have a very small group because I'm I'm very much an introvert. So my group is very small, like four people <laughs> that are close to me, maybe five, and that's it. And um, and those people are are like my backup when I when I don't when I can't see things for myself. But I also know that I need to do the work to be okay with me. I can't rely on the people around me. I can't rely on other things. I have to look deep inside and say, wow, look what you've done. Look how far you've come. Look what you've overcome. Look what you, how your body has healed. Look at, I mean, you have your circumstances. I, you know, look at the loss you survived, look at um, w what you've accomplished, all those things. You have to do that work. I had to do that work. And so when, when I first, especially was <laughs> when you're, um, when, when you're on YouTube or any social media, you kind of have to have a thick skin these days because apparently you can say whatever you want. But when I first started, it wasn't so much like that. So when the comments came, I was brand new. I was like, 
it took my breath away. I was wounded for days. And I had to like pull myself up and say, okay, let's take a look in the mirror right now. And let's talk about is, is what was said truth? Because sometimes there is some truth in there. Sometimes there's things that I need to pay attention to and maybe change or something like that. But the only way that I will know that is if I know me. If I know me so well in the downtime and the uptime and I know when I'm weak and I know when I'm strong, I know me. And the only way to know me is to be quiet and look at me. Look inside and write it out and all those things. In the quiet places, those are the times that we get to know who we are. In our journals, that's me. That's our time to just be doing the therapy in our work and, and fleshing it out in our minds of who am I? Who, who, am I funny? I, I'm, not, I'm not funny. I tried to be funny early on. I thought in my blogs and my videos, I thought I should be funny because that's what everybody was. I'm not funny. <laughs> um, I'm a very kind of serious, I'm a thinker and I'm an encourager and um, I want to encourage and that's my thing. And so all, you know, you go in phases where you have to kind of figure some things out, but you have to take the time to do that. So let's look at the page really quick. So she is obviously her own person. I mean, her, I wanted this to be bright and bold because that's how I feel in the, in my skin right now. Um, I'm not a very, um, outgoing person. I'm not boisterous. If we were out in a party, I would be up against the wall. <laughs> um, um, analyzing everyone and looking at everyone and studying and seeing who would be a good person to talk to and who or what, what most often what I would do is I'd be looking for the person who needed to be encouraged and that's the person I gravitate to and then I want to know their story that's that's how that's me um, but I know that because I've studied me I know that because I've stepped back and I said okay what's good about me and um, so in this piece, this, this little bit right here says belong. And while we have people that we belong to, like I have my core group, I need to belong to me. Because, out, you know, if I need extra help, I've got my backup. I've got my backup team. But I need to belong to me. And I need to know me so well that I'm okay. And, you know, that ebbs and flows just like it has for me over time. And, I, you know, I feel good and strong right now. And then something might happen, a health issue, a conflict, a something, and it makes me pause. And then I have to go back and reexamine, okay, what do I know as truth? I need to belong to me. And this number here means I continue to do that over and over. I do it once, twice, three, four, however many times it takes to know who I am. And then of course, this is obvious, never be afraid of being uniquely you. And that's, this is a uniquely me page. I just wanna encourage you never, ever play small. When someone is saying things to you or when your own old tapes play because you, your uniqueness, you are here for a purpose and you need to take the time to get to know you so that when the comments come or when someone says something negative to you or someone, whatever it is, a coworker says something or a spouse or a, you know, whatever, you can go back into those journal tapes that you've you've been doing and no 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 I I in general am a caring person so then you can you can analyze okay did I say something did I you know that that kind of thing go back into your logs of the work that you've done of reinforcing the good parts the uniquely wonderful parts of you so that when those things come 
you know. And maybe it might make you pause, but it doesn't stop you. And it's also that place where when a comment comes and you examine it and you go, yeah, that, that might be something I need to work on. But it doesn't damage you because you already know all the good, wonderful, unique things that are you. You were made on purpose. You are here for a purpose. And I don't know what that is, but you do in your time of getting to know you, you'll know. And sometimes that time of getting to know you, this sounds going to sound really weird, is looking at yourself in the mirror. Because I had to do that a lot with the with this hair of mine. Because <laughs> I just like, I do a couple double takes <laughs> in the mirror like, am I sure about this? Am I sure about this? And the more I looked at me in the mirror, the surer I got. And so that was my message this week because all of the comments and things, the chatter that happens, it's a normal thing when you're in social media and on YouTube and stuff like that. And um, this week I noticed I'm doing okay. And um, I thought about why. And I've done a lot of work. Um, a lot of um, soul searching, journaling, looking in the mirror kind of thing. And so I want to encourage you Maybe you need to do that too, because never not be you, never play small, always belong to you, um, and never be afraid of being what you are, with grace. I mean, I have to say that, with grace, because we all have our, our bad side, of course. Um, nobody's perfect. Um, but if we can approach all things with grace, including ourselves, um, yeah, we'll find the truth. All right, my loves, I hope um, you enjoyed the project. I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful. And I hope that you uniquely as you are so very loved.